Uh, hello, people. Alright, today I'm going to be playing Masamune's story. He's a very unique story. Like, all of his stages are essentially unique to him alone. Uh, he even has his own unique uh, opening cutscene, which is pretty rare. Normally they're all shared, but he has his own. Lord Date, congratulations on your unification of Oshu. This is just the beginning. Imbeciles! I will rule this land! There are those that stand in the way. First we take Echigo. Then we proceed to take Kai and Shinano. Uh, uh, Lord Date, which side do we choose as an ally? Ally? Imbecile! We crush them both! Onward! The real battle should begin now! I think you hear Masamune say imbecile more in this game than any other. Uh, favorite character in Samurai Wars, that would be Kotaro Fuma. Unless you mean this game specifically. If you mean only in this game, then it would be Keiji. Got a pretty good weapon for him. His, uh, his fourth weapon actually looks pretty cool. It's like a red sword, so it looks like an actual sword instead of the wooden swords he normally has. Oh yeah, he also has a... Uh, Totally different moveset in this game than he does in any of the later ones, where he sports a rapier and a pistol. We're basically just Masamune and a few of his generics, and fighting uh, two armies at once. Or at least intervening in their battle. Since the officers' armies are basically condensed, there's a lot more sub-officers on the map. Because they can only fit so many names on the right side of the screen here. The Tiger of Kai, the Dragon of Echigo. Which shall I take out first? There's basically two ways to play, like, almost all of Masamune's stages. I guess I'll go after Kenshin first. I think I normally go after, uh, Shingen first, just because he's closer. He has a lot of energy blasts with his, uh, dual swords moveset. I actually really like this moveset. It's a shame it's only in this game. He actually combos really well. I forgot how solid this moveset is. What is this? Aha! The plot thickens! Oh no! The main camp is in danger! You lie! Hold off the dragon army! I shall slay the dragon in the meanwhile! Victory! 
A splendid show of force. Victory! Oh yeah, if Masamune's voice we sounds familiar, it's because he shares voice actors with uh, Lushun slash Sun Quan. Masamuni is already is also considerably more cocky in this game than he is in later iterations. And he's already pretty cocky in later iterations. was not with us. We won't be far behind. The big Kenshin, you say? Aren't you the rambunctious one? Rambunctious? Try unstoppable! Trying to get this guy before he retreats. Well, I have an objective, so I may as well try and do that first. But man, I could not be farther away from it, could I? I may not make it to him in time. Favorite character in Samurai Warriors 3 if I don't count Kotaro and Keiji. <laughs> I don't know. No one? You're basically asking who my third favorite character is, and I don't really... I don't know. Hanzo, I guess. There's one interesting thing about Hanzo in Samurai Warriors 3, and that's that he's voiced by Troy Baker in that game, who also voiced uh, Ryu Hayabusa in Ninja Gaiden 3. So at one point, Hanzo and Ryu had the same voice actor. See if I can find Yukimura before I go take on Shingen. With how many sub officers there are, it's easy to lose track of them all if you're trying to defeat all of them to get the maximum amount of VXP from this stage. Skill. Victory! Uh, 
Let us seize the momentum here. Victor T indeed. Witness the fury of my spear. Where's Kenoichi? I want to see if they have any lines. Ooh, this just isn't your day. Wow, aren't you a little short to be a samurai? A ninja? You would be wise to hone your skills a while longer. Currently, you are nothing. Okay, big guy. Thank you very much for your time. Victory! Kinoichi just takes it in stride. So I'm pretty sure she referenced Star Wars with her first line there. I think we should see other people. A splendid show of force. Fortunate that I must show my back to the enemy. We won't be far behind. I bow to your skills. Such energy. Yes, enough energy to blast your agent so You insist on learning the hard way, do you? Appears that strategy is no match for momentum. I think Shingen has a katana on his outfit, even if he doesn't use it. You're no match for my experience. I suppose having it chained up is sort of the point. That he doesn't want to just outright kill people. Oh yeah, there's a bit of an oddity with uh, Asamune's story in that he has Kawanakajima before Okihazuma. I'm pretty sure Okihazuma takes place before Kawanakajima. But whatever.
Yes, Xiao Yun would not hesitate to beat up Masamune, I'm sure. Once again, we're just intervening in a battle Masamuni has no right being a part of. And four sub-officers. I believe that's the highest one can have. My lord. Look at how smug he is. I'd like to let the battle pull it out a little bit before I go and defeat uh, either one of the commanders. Show of force. You have to watch out for my allies, because I can lose if they get killed. Keep your hands up, everyone! Appropriate that Katsui is an officer under Kun uh, Oichi. Show of force.
bow to your skills. I want this to be a good fight. Yeah, Muscle Mooney is basically full of energy in this game, to say the least. So, you're Yoshimoto, you imbecile. You know nothing of power. How dare this unusual child. In the original Samurai Wars 1, Yoshimoto was basically just like your stereotypical uh, royalty type character. He didn't really have any of the Kamari or Goofy aspects to him until Extreme Legends came out. Then he became more of an actual joke character. As opposed to just a flat out incompetent one. I'm actually curious what Nobunaga asked for, but I'm right here to stop Hideyoshi, so... And hopefully my last remaining officer won't die and cause me to lose the stage. I already lost one, and if I lose both of them, that's it. It's over. Just in case, I'll make a save. In case I need to rush over to him and fight every single peon around him. Or alternatively, Rush Nobunaga. Victory! The squashion is the better part of valor. I just need to win the last fight. Let us seize the momentum here. Where did I park my horse? Way over here. On getting in my way. Lord Imagawa has fallen, and the Oda's morale is soaring. Maybe best not to continue fighting. This could be interesting. I don't like all the reds forming my one officer. Come on, Iyasu. Come back. One nice way to put it. Let us seize the momentum here. And even no Naga's coming straight for my one generic officer over there. Ah! 
Kill Jiro with a Y. Let's go. No, you realize he's like 10. Let us seize the momentum. Abandon hope. There we go. <laughs> what fun. His battles are pretty chaotic. Boy, do you seek to rule this land as well? Then follow in my footsteps until death. Nobunaga is weirdly the person that pays the most attention to Masamune. And I think that Asamuni does participate in several of Nobunaga's battles. I think all but two of them are Nobunaga's, are battles that involve Nobunaga. Man, the poor Hoganji army. Just one guy. Shoke and nothing else. Of course, I'm sure Magawichi shows up at some point. Hello, Eagle. The Eco Rebels are the Oda army. Which should I crush first? In any case, they will both fall by my hand. <laughs> Oh, the Oda seemed like the biggest threat here, now doesn't it? Naturally, Masamuni doesn't care one way or the other that he's fighting peasants. 
are halfway fighting peasants. Eliminate them as well. Let us see what you are made of. Man, the cannons hurt. They apparently hurt their own allies as well. Where is he? Damn it. I didn't know where he got blasted, so I couldn't stop him from healing himself. Not that it mattered. Has it ceased fire? Because it looks like they're still firing. Go to the central fortress and set it ablaze. A fire attack would cause damage to our army as well. Stop that little monkey! <laughs> Can you keep up with me? Don't make it too easy for me. Nice outfit. Reminds me of my younger days. Of course, I was much stronger than you. <laughs> How dare you put yourself on equal ground? <laughs> See you later. Uh, do I prefer the first Simra Warriors or the first Sengoku Basra? Simra Warriors by far. The first Sengoku Basra is terrible and I hate it. We shall not be far behind. I mean, I kind of enjoy playing it, but it's it's got a lot of problems that had to be fixed before it was actually a fun game to play. Nobunaga's boy has been thwarted. Now is our chance. Units, on Nobunaga. Take this. <laughs> Victory! <laughs> nice moves you got there. Shall not be far behind. I'm gonna go back down here and defeat uh, Mitsuhide. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, in the first Samurai Warriors, Masamune has a completely unique moveset that doesn't appear in any other game. Well, besides the PSP game, Samurai Warriors State of War. Which is because it's specifically a spin-off of Samurai Warriors 1. I didn't even get to kill him. I think it's the first time I had a kill stolen from me in this game. Or at least on stream. I'm sure it's happened before at some point. Fight Ron Maru and see if there's any interaction between him and Masamune. Prepare yourself. Although he's putting up quite a fight. I have no idea what launched me so far. I have failed in my duties. Shall not be far behind. Forward. You will be eliminated. No, but now are you ready to meet your doom? <laughs> I shall show you. He really did not want to lose that last bit of health he had. Stop right there. Uh... <laughs> he just walks away. got away again? Well, I'd better wrap things up here then. What do you mean got away again, Magawichi? This should have been the first time you fought him. but this is strictly business. I 
I do like that Masamune can just energy blast spam like a freaking Dragon Ball Z character. I'll say one thing about Masamune's moveset, it doesn't do so well against groups. Against a single enemy, it can combo pretty well, but it doesn't have much in the way of range. I guess that's what the energy blasts are for, but they're never really that effective. Plus, it's very easy to be interrupted. Buffing himself again? He already healed. Wait, that wins? Now what would the ladies of the world do without me, huh? I guess Shoke is commander in name only. And now we intrude on Nagashino. If you manage to read all that text in time, it's uh, sort of convoluted. Apparently, Nobunaga had wanted Masamune to invade during the battle at Issei, and he took that time to just off-screen take over some of Masamune's territory, which the territory which Masamune had stolen from Nobunaga. And now he's essentially ended up in the middle of a battle. And hey, Shingen's still alive. I guess Masamune interfering so much screwed up the timeline so Shingen got to live. Didn't get offed by uh, Hanzo. Oda's muskets, Takeda's cavalry, both are worthy challenges. Kujuro, defend the main camp! Do not advance beyond the barricades. Tighten the defense. Do not engage hastily. Keep your distance from the enemy. Use muskets to obliterate the Takeda camp. Ambush the Oda 
the musketeers from behind. Wait, is this is this a luring mission? Ah, I see the little tyrant is here again. I think you're eating too much sugar. You know, if this is going to be a lore mission, and I have the option to not do it... Masamune, you insist on getting in my way, do you? It appears I can use this provincial oath as well. Ah, damn it, now I have to do it. Masamune, you turn your back on your enemy? Maybe I can just lure one of them over here. Damn it. Horse barricades can be really annoying. I've mostly avoided them until now. After them, show them the might of the Takeda. Okay, cool. They'll just ignore Shingen and follow me like morons. All right, come on and get shot. And I guess I'm just going to avoid it somehow. Your AI would work. Yeah, it does look like I need to lure all of them. I should have just gone after the friggin' Oda. Come on. Maybe I could just restart the battle. Come on, follow me. Now, are they following me? You have caused too much mischief, Masamune. Prepare to be punished. All right, well, fuck this. Uh, no, just going to the center did not do it. That was... I apparently had to lure every single one of them. And that is a pain in the ass. Because on top of having to lure four different people across essentially the entire map, it's on a time limit. So, to hell with that. Oda's muskets, Takeda's cavalry, both are worthy challenges. Kujuro, defend the main camp! Do not advance beyond the barricades. Tighten the defense. Do not engage hastily. Keep your distance from the enemy. We're ambushing Oda musketeers from behind. <laughs> Yeah, I'll do the not bullshit objective this time. So that's Nobunaga's prize musket unit. Ah, I see the little tyrant here again. I think you're eating too much. Man, 
and Yasumasa has a lot of defense. That or Masamune's attack is just bad. Uh, favorite fast food place? <laughs> uh, Taco Bell, easily. Charge horsemen! Charge the enemy! Take them out in one blow! My ambitions require that I defeat you. I've been itching to fight. Let's go! Splendid show of force. I do wish Samurai Warriors 1 like showed you it showed you the arbitrary time limit it has for these mission these types of missions. As it stands, you basically just have to guess and hope you're fast enough. I think in Samurai Warriors 2, timed missions had a uh, an actual timer appear, but I'm not positive. Charging the dot they specifically, huh? Giving me a lot of objectives here, aren't you? I come forth. Or you didn't run for me, Dominaga. We meet again, boy. <laughs> you see me as a boy and underestimate me. That's the extent of your limited vision. Skill. 
and the officers are just pouring in over here. Another kill stolen from me. Now Yuki Moore is doing the fight. Unfortunately, all the Takeda are still in hyper mode, which is not good for Masamune. They're not even focusing on Nobunaga. Everyone hates Masamune. Please let me hit him before he heals. Yeah, I'll have to compare stats after this, but I believe uh, Masamune has particularly low attack. I'm gonna leave you guys alone for now. They seem to be targeting me anyways. Or maybe they're just targeting Nobunaga. Wow, they're in KG, just defeated by, uh, who defeated them? By Nobufusu Baba. And even Ieyasu is in hyper mode. Why is everyone in hyper mode in this battle? Yuki Moore is still after me. Man, that peon really ruined my combo there. I could have killed the Iyasu if not for him. We won't be far behind. Patience is merely an excuse for the war. Would have been nice if they lost their hyper mode after I dealt with Yoda, but I guess it would be. Too much to ask for.
Where'd he go? There he is. Kikimura especially hits hard. But there we go. I cannot die. Not yet. Could try and fight the rest of the Takata Calvary, but... Uh, I should definitely fight the one attacking the main camp, though. That could be bad. May have to fight them. My officers have extremely high morale, but they're just outnumbered here. Ah, uh, this is the one that defeated KG. Came all the way down to go after the Date. I really didn't remember Masamune's moveset being this weak. Or his stats being this weak. Although it is partly just the enemies to blame. There's only two more left. I guess I'll take them out. Looks like I've already hurt these two, anyways. We will have to prepare for the worst. Yeah, when they're not in hyper mode, they actually go down at a decent speed.
splendid show of this. Okay, that's all of the cavalry. Let us seize the momentum here. The people are my walls. The people are my castle. Having lost the people under me, there is no way I can achieve victory. It is over. All units, retreat. There is no use in further bloodshed. Shingen says to the no one that's left. Uh, he very well might. He is right there. The stage is uh, kind of bullshit all around, if I'm honest here. Like, I'm on the fastest horse in the game and I can barely catch up to him. If I didn't have this, I probably wouldn't catch up to him. You insist on learning the hard way, do you? And he's in hyper mode too. God. Say just kind of merciless. fight another day a fine philosophy uh, if I let them run then they would just get away uh, if I hadn't already unlocked it old men should retire to their beds if I hadn't already unlocked it it would mean I wouldn't unlock the good ending I'd be stuck on the lower path and get the bad ending Did you think I'd lose the That's slightly better than the weapon I have. It has like two more points of attack. Yeah, just looking at his stats right here, his uh, basic attack, his weapon attack, is actually pretty damn low. It is in fact his lowest stat, which is terrible. That's kind of the exact opposite of what you want in the Warriors game. But let's go on into the lower path. Odawara campaign is what we would have if uh, we had let either Nobunaga or Shingen escape. Or both of them. It's also a weird way to spell Oshu. 
Oshu with three U's. Won't need Matsukaze here. Intruding on a battle between Kenshin and Shingen. But I'm at Odawara. <laughs> the Hojo just don't even get a presence in their own castle. Oh god, if there are hyper mode defense captains here, I'm turning the game off. Is this Shinkan? I can eliminate both he and Kenshin in one fell swoop. God, Masamune's running speed is huge. All of his points that were supposed to have gotten to attack must have gotten to his base running speed. Although when the enemies aren't in hyper mode, it feels more natural. Like he's as fast as Masakaze. Look at this little guy go. I do like just stumbling across officers fighting each other. And I do love how Shingen and Kenshin are fighting in a castle that doesn't even belong to either of them. It's maybe the only castle stage like this, where two forces are just fighting each other and you can run past them all easily. You're not constantly being chased. I see you, Masamune. Ah, I see there are some frozen souls here. This is no place for a little brat like you. Get lost! Along with many imbeciles. I wonder if my energy blast can blast open the door. They cannot. Stop scurrying about, you little brat. The utter nerve. Is this some imbecile nesting ground? <laughs> Yuesugi apparently doesn't think very highly of Masamune, but it seems Itakada will actually respond well to him. Or at least with some modicum of respect.
Now the KG Slayer over there, Nobufusa. You kill ceiling son of a bitch. Asamuni oh, needs all the levels he can get. Date, are you not? Whatever the reason, I cannot allow you to pass. How do you not know who he is by this point? You knew who he was at Nagasino, Nagashino. And they actually give Masamune some fairly hard stages. Luigi attacks so fast, it's really hard to get a hit off before she does. They work well together. Although the camera really isn't helping here. One of them. Oh, yeah, real mature. Freaking peon. God, the musketeer broke my guard and the peon and Yukimura attacked me. How dare you cooperate? Fucking musketeer. I cannot die. Not yet. You in particular need to die. Oh, thank God they took it easy on Masamuni. There are no defense captains, period. Let alone defense captains in hyper mode. Damn it. <laughs> Been surprised. <laughs> <laughs> it's a genuine scream from Masamune. <laughs> to his credit, he sounded perfectly calm when he tried to cover it up. When will Kenshin show himself? Feeble castle is no match for me. Maeda army. Well then, I wonder who I'm gonna face here.
Hey there. Let's make this one to remember. Well, finally. Oh, yeah. What insolence! How dare you! Yeah, I suppose you're right. Let's get started then. I look forward to it. Come forth, KG! Uh oh. Much easier to fight when there's only one of them. Strength alone will not win you control of this land. <laughs> I lost interest in all that ages ago. Someday you'll understand too. Huh. None can stand against my power. All the players are here. They immediately come after me. You want to fight each other for a bit? Nope. At least their attacks can hit each other. But they can't combo me very well. My combos keep being interrupted. Prefer you didn't recover. You don't see me full healing. Not concerned with Kenshin right now. Can't see. Just one hit would be nice. There we go. It appears that strategy is no match for momentum. Hit me from behind somehow. Ah, I couldn't get the deadlock win. Oh well. Wow, he blocked the. He blocked my counterattack. That's. I didn't know they could do that. Victory! <laughs> Energy blast. Fortune was not with us. It is finished. I shall go home to Yonizawa. But I vow that one day I shall return. You're no match for my experience!
Masamune, you're truly one of a kind. I like your style. Masamune, I hereby forgive you for all past indiscretions. Henceforth, you will be my servant. Imbecile, this is not meant for me. That's the extent of your pitiful vision, Hideyoshi. This land is mine now. I have absolutely no goddamn idea what that ending is about. This is like the first time he interacts with Hideyoshi. I don't know why he's bringing him across. I don't know why he brought him across and then immediately tossed it down and said, I'm going to rule the land now. Like, I assumed he was doing something for Hideyoshi, but then why would you just toss that aside immediately as soon as you complete it? But uh, that's his bad ending, I guess. <laughs> and now let's go to the good ending. Yeah, Masamuni's attack stat, like, it's not even, like, halfway. Compared to, say, like, Shingen, who is just almost maxed out. Shingen knew where to allocate his stats. Anyways, if at Nagashino we stop both Nobunaga and Shingen from retreating, then we get attack on Honoji. Oh uh, yeah, Hideyoshi wasn't exactly added for Extreme Legends. He was a yeah, unique NPC in Samurai Warriors 1 originally, where he just had a regular spear moveset. Uh, same for Yoshimoto, it said he had a sword moveset instead of his Kamari moveset. Just three officers again. That was better than Nobunaga's doing, though. Meanwhile, Mitsuhide has the actual army. Whoops. The enemy awaits at Honnoji. Nobunaga. This land shall belong to me. My men, we must all survive this battle. Lord Nobunaga will have to come out now, unless he chooses to disappear into the flames. Take this! Might as well take the reserve, Captain. I believe you can get uh, Masamune's fifth weapon in this stage, but I do not remember how, and I don't really care enough to look that up. Okay, that door's locked. Oh, 
fine by me. He got the door to open. Oh, no. Not again. I thought I was spared from this in Odawara. Okay, these aren't actually too strong. The Odawara ones are fucking elites. Tightly, it will not open. Imbeciles. We shall go behind the main hall from the west. Basically, I have to go completely around. I guess the Akichi army are just waiting for Nobunaga to burn to death. Which isn't a bad move. Outside I go. Oh my god, they're all in hyper mode. This game hates Masamune. Like, did you need to put all the enemies in hyper mode for... Really no particular reason. At least they're all bunching up. Which uh, actually isn't necessarily a good thing. So it should make it go by faster. Hear one of them healing. Nah, most full of them are healing. Stop it.
Stop. All right, that was one of them. Let us seize the momentum. Two, three, Let us seize the momentum. and four. Victory! It's a hit a fuck off. I do not want to deal with you right now. Let us see what you are made of. You're too late, Mitsuhide. It is rogues like you who breed chaos through their ambition. <sighs> that I despise most in this world. Prepare to die. We shall not be far behind. Forward! Victory! Let us seize the momentum here. One thing at a time. Get to meet to hit a who's also in hyper mode. I'm willing to bet every officer in this stage is in hyper mode. It's made sense for me to hit a because he's a commander. I wouldn't say it was easy. Please let me attack. I assume I have an invisible time limit for the Oda to do something. I can't even get a hit on them without his freaking peons interrupting me. Because Masamune has zero range. Gonna go ahead and take back everything positive I said about his moveset. Well, my officers actually caught up. Kind of impressed. Hyper mode is just a general term in Warriors games when they 
when enemy officers have an aura about them, uh, it increases their damage, stun resistance, defense, basically all their stats. Imbecile, your blade has been dulled with doubt. Now the actual Oda, Oda army has appeared. My lord. Oh, I see things are well underway. The enemy awaits at Honnoji. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> fucking laugh. Engage the enemy. He knew what he was doing with that line. Imbeciles, you shall all be destroyed. I ask that you go easy on me. And it feels like easy mode when they're not in hyper mode now. Everything's a dream within a dream. We shall not be far behind. <laughs> Value your life. Oh, but Ron Morrow's in hyper mode. My morale is fine, thank you very much. I can't hit some of the enemies because they can't appear. They aren't popping in because the game can't handle that many on screen. Can I go back to easy mode when the officers aren't all in hyper mode? Is expendable. A splendid show of force. Oh, these guys are still fighting my officers up there.
I would run away if I were you. Wow, they almost killed No, though. The morale must be doing great. Finally. It's over. I bow to your skills. We saw the female death animation three times in a row. That's pretty rare. Oh, I guess you. I guess unless you play Honoji. <laughs> for me. That's all of them. Finally. <laughs> this ain't a bad place to die. Let us seize the momentum. Here. Oh, hello. I bet that's a fifth weapon. Looks like they're going south. Let's save in case I screw this up, because the supply captains can't actually get away from you. Maybe all this effort will actually have been worth something. Fine, I'll get off the horse. Yep, that's a fifth weapon. Cool. Maybe he'll get a pair of actual swords. Nobunaga. Forever, you imbecile! Then prove it to me. I was going to anyway. 
I believe it is time you determined who is most to rule this land. Say so, boy. If nothing else, I do like how just unbelievably confident Masamune is. Zero hesitation in anything he does. You hit a put up way more of a fight. Nothing lives forever. Imbeciles, you never had a chance. Man, like 20 minutes on this stage alone. Ugh. How many weapons did I get? Damn. Okay, there's his fifth weapon. Plus 45 attack, that's what I like to see. Force attack and attack range. Missile charge is nice. Those are all good stats. Lord Date. Congratulations on your unification of the land. You think this is the end? Imbecile! My lord, are we now waging a war against the entire world? Imbecile! War and fighting isn't everything. If we can't get beyond that, we are all doomed! There are always new ways, new possibilities. My goal is to prove this to the entire world! That was a pretty positive ending. Alright, that was, uh, much more of a hassle than I thought it was going to be. Eesh. I didn't remember they made Masamune's story that hard. But at least that's done. Mm, I have no idea who I'm gonna play next. anyone that ties in with Masamune. Well, there kind of is. Believe it or not, in Yoshimoto's story mode, uh, he actually becomes pretty good friends with both Masamune and Kenshin. Uh, you know, I should play the Extreme Legends characters at some point. I guess next time I'll try Yoshimoto, and I'm probably going to regret that. got a fair few number of stages. But 
we'll get into that next time. This stream's done. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.